everyone, it's Heidi here today and I have a strength chair workout for you. So I'm going to be using um, three pound weights here, but you can always use soup cans, water bottles, milk jugs, um, books, bags, whatever works for you to add some resistance. You can also use body weight, but I would suggest having something for resistance here. Um, if you can go ahead and set those weights down to the side on the ground. We're going to scoot forward in our chair here and we're going to start with a quick warm up here. Let's go ahead and start marching here. Get those arms pumping, move those legs up. And anything we do today, you can also do standing. I'm just going to show you what it's like to look in the chair. Now bringing your arms out to the side, you can keep those legs moving, you can stop them up too. We're going to circle forward. Get nice and warmed up here. Go ahead, reverse those arms. Dropping those arms this side, we're going to shoulder roll back. And reverse, going forward. And relax his hands back to the march. We're going to twist side to side with our torso, reach our arm across, meeting in the middle here, kind of getting that core warmed up a bit. Back to that march. And drop those legs, drop those hands. Last thing, we're going to do calf raises. Come up to your tippy toes, back down. Getting those legs warmed up a little more. Back to that march. And go ahead, relax. Now that we're a little warm, we're going to get into our workout here. I've got three lower body moves. Three upper body moves and three core moves. We're gonna repeat them twice. 10 reps each. So go ahead and grab those weights here. Again, you can use soup cans, jugs, whatever you can really do to add that resistance. You don't have to use the weights, but it might be a little helpful to challenge yourself there. I'm gonna place my weights here on the top of my thighs and holding them here just so they're more stable. And we're gonna go into calf raises here. We're gonna go 10 reps. We're gonna go up to our tippy toes and back down. Three, two, one. So 10 times here. At your own pace, we're together. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Go ahead and relax the legs here. Um, still working on the lower body here. This time we're going to lift our leg off the ground and lower, trying to keep our foot flexed we got five reps each side. Let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great job there. One more lower body move here that we're going to go through. We're going to take one weight or both, place it in between our thighs here. We're gonna use our thighs to squeeze that weight there and just hold on to the other weight in your lap or place it down. What we're gonna do is we're gonna squeeze the thighs together as hard as we can for 10 seconds. Let's begin. Squeeze that weight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, almost there, and 10. We're just squeezing that weight, working the inner thighs there. Now let's move to an upper body move. So we got three upper body moves here. We're gonna hold both weights in each hand. We're gonna start with some bicep curls. Just curling those arms up. We're gonna sit nice and tall here. Three, two, one. Curl those arms up, 10 reps. Try to go outside of your legs here when you're coming down. Three, four. Again, we're sitting nice and tall. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great job, everyone. Shake out those arms if you need to here. 
Next up, we have tricep extensions. Option to use one weight or both. If you're just using one weight, you can set it off to the side. Otherwise, you can hold both, one in each hand. We're going to raise our hands up above our head here. Arms are straight. We're gonna bend those arms and extend those arms back up. We've got 10 reps here again as well. Starting here in three, two, one. Keeping those elbows pointed forward. That's one there. Two, three, four. Remember to stay nice and tall. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great job. Placing those weights down on our lap, shaking it out. You see some commotion going on. My cats are running around, chasing each other, playing. <laughs> All right, one more upper body move for here. We're gonna go around the world. So weights are gonna be in both hands. We're gonna start kind of by our hips here. Elbows are kind of pointed in. We're going to lift those weights up in one big circle and back down. Around the world like a circle. You got 10 reps here. Three, two, one, begin. Lifting them up in a circle, touching each other, back down. My elbows are bent still. That's two, three. Standing nice and tall or sitting, four, five, six, almost there. No, it hurts a little bit, seven, eight, nine, and last one here, 10, and lower. Go ahead and set those weights to the side, on the ground, whatever works for you. Shaking those arms out. We're moving to the core now. We've got three different core exercises for you. So scoot forward in your chair if you haven't already. We're going to be starting with crunches. If you have the ability to scoot forward, great. If you can't, you can still try to move this, uh, do this move by crunching forward. We're gonna place our hands across our chest here, kind of touching our shoulders. And we're going to keep our spine neutral and straight. We're going to lean back into our chair, just the top of our back touches the chair and crunch forward. That's the move I got for you there. If you are sitting back in your chair, just try to lean forward and back if you can't come to the front of your chair. Just front of your chair here, arms across your chest. We've got 10 crunches. Let's begin. One. Using those core, that core to pull you up. Two, three, four, keep your back straight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, great job. Come back up, neutral spine again. Unlace your arms. Next up, we're gonna be working our side obliques. Take your right arm here, place it behind your head. Left arm here, we're gonna dip down and back up five times each side. Let's begin. One, two, three, four, and five. Again, we're sitting nice and tall. We're making sure that the sides are doing the work. We're not bent over anything. Switching sides, left arm behind your head, right arm down, leaning down to the right, coming back up. Let's begin. One, two, three, four, and five. Great job, shaking out those arms, doing a little twist here. Next up I have for you, we're going to be doing some bicycles. We're gonna be taking our elbow and going to its knee. So we're going to make sure that our hands are behind our head. We're going to lift the left knee and bring that right elbow to the knee and place it back down and switch sides. Try to get that elbow towards that knee. If you can't, that's fine. Even having the elbow out in front, if you can't have it behind your head, whatever works, just try to get that twist in there. So we're gonna have 10 times total. Three, two, one. Got one, two, lift that leg. Three, do that twist. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great job, shake it out. 
So we went through all the exercises. We're gonna go through one more time and then we'll do a cool down and our workout will be completed. So we're gonna go back to the lower body, grabbing those weights if you wanna use them. You don't have to, or whatever you're using for resistance. Placing them on your thighs here, holding those weights here. We're gonna calf raises, 10 reps again. Let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. Now we're going to lift one leg at a time and lower. Ten times total. Let's go. One, two. So I'm pausing at the top here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Great job. Shake out those legs if you need to. Setting one weight on my lap or on the ground. Off to the side. We've got one weight in the middle here. We're going to squeeze our thighs tight. Ten seconds. And begin. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep squeezing. Eight, nine, Ten and release. Shake out those legs if you need to. Moving back to the upper body, going back to those bicep curls, trying to keep those arms outside of our legs to get that full extension. Ten reps here. Let's begin. One, two, we're sitting nice and tall. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten great job shake out those arms if you need to two more upper body moves next one tricep extension again you have the option to use one weight or both i'm going to use both here arms are above our head arms are bending and extending up let's start here three two one ten reps one two again we're sitting nice and tall we're pointing those elbows forward Five, six, seven, eight, almost there, nine, and ten. Great job. One more upper body move here. We got the around the worlds. We're starting by our hips here. Elbows are bent. Coming up. Weights touch each other. Come back down. We got ten reps. Let's begin. One, two, Three, stay strong here. Four, five, keep breathing. Sitting nice and tall. Six, seven, almost there. Eight, nine, last one here, and 10. Woo! Shake those arms out. Set those weights down to the side, off to the side. We're finishing with our core here and then we're gonna stretch it out. So coming to the front of your chair, if you haven't already, if you can't, that's fine. We're gonna go with those crunches again. We're gonna sit nice and tall, hands across your chest. We're leaning back and forward. If you're in the back of your chair, try to lean forward and back. So coming to the front of your chair if you have that ability. Arms across your chest 10 times. Let's begin. One. Try to keep that back straight. Two, using those core muscles. Three, keep breathing. Four, five, six, almost there. Seven, eight, nine, last one here, and 10. Great job. Now we got the side obliques, starting with the left side here. Right arm is up, I'm starting with the right side. Right arm up, left arm to the side. I'm gonna lean down, crunch up. Sitting nice and tall. Let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. Great job. Well, we were only supposed to do five each side, but we already did 10, so might as well do 10 on the other side, right? <laughs> so go ahead, take that left arm behind your head, right arm to the side here, and we're gonna do 10 this side too. One, two, giving you guys a little extra workout here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one here, and 10. Great job. Next, we're finishing up with the bicycles. We're almost done here. Hands are gonna go behind our head, opposite elbow, opposite knee. If you need to put the elbows in front, that works too. Do what you can here, just try to add that little twist in. We're gonna to try to do 10 total unless I lose count. Go ahead and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten great job great job grab some water if you need to we're going to stretch it out real quick here and then we'll be done for the day so we're going to go ahead and start by stretching those legs out here go ahead and bring that right leg out we're going to try to reach down towards that right leg reach as far as you can no biggie here if you can only reach that far And release, switching sides, bring that left leg out. Try to reach down towards it or reach out, whatever you have the ability to do today. And release, we're going to take our right ankle, place it over the left knee. You can't get it up, just place that right ankle over that left ankle here. And switch sides, left or right leg down. This time, left ankle over the right knee if you have the ability, or just left ankle over the right ankle. And release, let's get those arms stretched out. Bring one arm across your chest here, pulling it in, and shake out your wrists and fingers if you'd like. And switching sides, other arm across your chest, same thing. Shake out those wrists and fingers if you'd like. We're gonna clasp our hands together. Bring those arms forward, round that spine. And release, reach towards the back of your chair. Open up that chest. And release, I'm gonna place one hand in between my shoulder blades. Gently press back onto it. And switching sides, other hand in between the shoulders, gently pressing back. And releasing, let's get those sides stretched out. Bring that right arm up, lean over to the left side. And switch sides, lean that left arm up, lean over to the right side. And release, we're gonna take a couple deep breaths to end today's workout. Go ahead, breathe in and out. One more time here in and out. Thank you so much for joining me. If you want more of a workout, check out the rest of our channel or even replay this video. Um, we'll see you guys next time.